assalamu alaikum students i hope you all will be fine and doing great at your home uh, may allah keep again all of us safe it's june 2020 saturday kindly give me a favor before coming to my class must give reading to the previous lecture positively as the previous lecture will be linked with the current lecture so previous lecture was about antarctica and the south pole where we have read uh, the lesson comprehension uh, of antarctica and we read about uh, uh, antarctica and the south pole and life in antarctica today we are going to learn mapping what is mapping you people have not done mapping before purpose of mapping why we do make maps how do we make maps this we are going to learn uh, in today's lecture mapping is exactly a map a map what is a map a map is a diagrammatic representation of earth surface why we do make maps in english language maps are just like summary what is summary a summary of a lesson we call it uh, we can call it uh, the important points of the lesson we do not discuss the whole story in the summary we just discuss or write the main important point of the lesson to show the reader or to give the complete understanding to the reader if someone does not have a time and he or she wanted to wants to read a lesson so we just write uh, or we can put a summary in front of uh, him or her and he or she will get the complete idea of the lesson so mapping is also like a summary but the difference is that summary we write in a paragraph while mapping is a diagrammatic representation or we write important points by showing diagram and graphic organizer something mapping or summary exactly we are um, learning here or mapping so i will use the word mapping mapping shows the main features ideas and details of the lesson or what we read again i am telling you that uh, mapping shows us the main feature or detail of what we read it is the best way to keep the lesson or to keep the um, in, in memory whatever uh, we read and if we want to keep that in memory so this is the best way to keep the lesson or to keep what we read in memory it is another way or it is the easiest way to recall the lengthy lesson yeah exactly it is quite difficult to read the lengthy lessons again and again um so, or even um, for the person who does not read a lengthy lesson once so he or she can read the mapping to understand the lesson or the central idea of the lesson it improves understanding again instead of reading the whole lesson we just read the map and get the complete understanding or the sort or we do the revision as well we can call it a summary map concept map story map or a knowledge well as well it is indeed an interesting activity but a creative activity as well later on i will tell you how uh, can you make it a creative exactly by using your own words by using your own uh, imaginations it focuses on keywords and phrases it focuses on keywords the main words or uh, phrases which are used in lesson so we discuss uh, or we use the keywords or lesson in the mapping it reduces the irrelevant and repetition i told you it is like summary we uh, it reduces the irrelevant things irrelevant pictures irrelevant scenarios and irrelevant characters irrelevant the theme and repetition and just discuss the main character the main plotting the main theme everything it teaches how to integrate the central idea in a meaningful way it is just like a summary Uh, if you want to give the if you want to discuss or give the main central idea to the reader so this summary and mapping is the easiest way it uh, reduces the large text to the main points for more concise understanding as it improves understanding and all the students get the chance to show their creativity and understanding 
by this student will learn how to take a large selection of text and reduce it to the main text and reduce it to the main point for more concise understanding in a short time it forces one to use his or her own words and understanding exactly it not only improves understanding but it also improves vocabulary so this was all about mapping that what is mapping again so like a summary what is summary where we integrate uh, where we um, collect the main points the important points reduce the irrelevant things just discuss the essential elements and uh, just discuss the main character setting theme plot and beginning middle sequence we also check it and um, it also reduce the um, large selection to the main point for concise understanding now i'm going to give you two examples the fox and the grapes and a thirsty crow they are you people are quite familiar with these two stories fox and the grapes exactly once there was a fox he was hungry he went at here and there in search of food and then he reached a garden he saw grapes which were uh, looked looking yummy then grapes were uh, ripe red and wine he jumped to get but couldn't he didn't lost hope he tried again and again failed he tried uh, again to get them but failed again every time he curled his nose and left by saying mm, grapes are so if you want to make a map of this story so we have to find out on which they are on which we are going to make a map like there are two main important things fox and grapes so for all of us and for many of us or for many of us making grape is or drawing grape is bit difficult so we will choose grapes we'll make grapes with a bunch of grape and we'll write just important points in the grapes i am placing a pic a grape map grapes map in front of you it's a bunch of grape i have given a numbering here 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are many different ways of making maps so instead of writing the whole story i have made a map to give a better understanding to the reader in short time or concise understanding to the reader in short time this where i have reduces the irrelevant things there was a hungry fox he saw a bunch of grapes i didn't mention that he went at here and there because hungry if someone is hungry definitely he will be in search of food it jumped to get grapes it jumped again to get but failed it left and went away by saying grapes are so now now what now reader can understand the whole story by this map now this we call a grapes map a map of or a summary or uh, of a story the fox and the grapes now in the summary we write in paragraph in the maps we use diagrams what is thirsty crow you people are quite familiar with the story thirsty crow thirsty crow is what thirsty crow is about a uh, thirsty crow a crow which was very thirsty again he was very thirsty so he flew here and there in search of water and he went a garden he saw jug or a pitcher on the bench on the ground you can make now whatever and rest you know quite well so if i want to make a map of this story how i will make a map of this story again making crow is bit difficult so i have chosen a jug or a pitcher so so we call it a pitcher map again i am giving it a numbering to make a sequence reduces the irrelevant mm, sentences statements repetitions whatever so what is number one there was a thirsty crow it saw a pitcher again he was thirsty so i don't need that he need to mention that he was thirsty i have added the adjective thirsty with a noun crow it was uh, it saw a pitcher or a jug water was very low or less in the jug it dropped pebbles to bring water up water came up now you can see i have made a pitcher i put some pebbles the water came up and it it uh, drank water and flew away now you can make it now by this students can show their creativity as well you can make garden you can make grass you can make trees bench 
if you are good in drawing as you people are good in drawing so you can make crows and fox as well so you can make these maps more beautiful by adding some more um, um, some more things so this is we call a mapping i hope you all got about the mapping that what is mapping mapping is a diagrammatic representation or why uh, why we do mapping to give a uh, reader a better understanding to recall the uh, important features ideas or to keep the lesson in memory for a long time it is an interesting activity it is an creative activity it focuses uh, on uh, on the keywords and phrases and uh, now it gives you a chance to show your creativity by making such pictures diagrams to make them more beautiful and you will make it interesting and it gives you a chance to use your own vocabulary and your own understanding understanding i hope that you all got about mapping i put a pictures in front of you i put a map in front of you a grapes map or a picture map now we are moving towards our lesson because we are going to make a map of the lesson we read in a previous lecture in the previous lecture we read about antarctica antarctica and the south pole it is at the bottom um, it is at the it is a huge continent at the bottom of planet earth um, the continent surrounding southern ocean also known as antarctic uh, it is bigger than europe and north america and then they, it has no native people language and rest all now what you have to do in the whole lesson we in the whole lesson uh, we discuss uh, we discussed about antarctica i told you some important facts as well and we discuss about uh, antarctica if you have a book you can place a book in front of you now it was all about native people coldest driest windiest uh, seven months uh, winters five months uh, summer then native animals and birds uh, and about uh, airports now what you have to do you have to make a map we are not going to make a map on penguin because penguin is not penguin is a part of the story but it is it is an essential but it is not about all the whole lesson is about antarctica so we are going to make a map of antarctica where we will show some important point features or details if you are good in um, made drawing as you are again before i told you so you can make penguin seals and whales in the social study maps you have seen antarctica at the bottom so you can make those maps and you can write important details in that map i have made a map for you people as you people are doing it for the very first time so that's why i'm making a map for you people but later on you people will make a map and details by your own and then you will attach those maps with your lesson and when inshallah when you will be back to school i will check your those maps now i am placing in front of you an antarctica map this is all about antarctica map i have made for you people now this is antarctica uh, it is at the bottom these are oceans in, in its surrounding and it is at the bottom so this is all about earth i have shown it in a blue color it is in the pole below antarctica there is nothing so i have not given it a shade blue shade of blue color you can make arrowheads to show the sequence or you can write numbering over there to show the sequence what is the first important part it is at the bottom of the planet earth what is the second important feature on detail of the lesson that it has no native people language or money i reduced the lines that it is bigger than europe because i can't make here europe and north america so i just put the important i just collect the important feature the second important the third important feature is that it is covered the 98% of its area is covered with ice and it is dry cold and windy place moving ahead there are 7 months winter and 5 months summer you can uh, write name of the months as well later on penguin seals whales 
uh, and some other a few birds are the native animals and last there are few bird airports too recently opened is Welcome airport now if you want to make it more beautiful you can make penguins here you penguins in the map you can add whales here you can add sail, uh, seals here or you can some put some cottons here to show that it is a snowy area so this was all about antarctica map now kindly dear students you all have to make this map um, by your own and then you have to share the pictures now you can take a screenshot of this if you uh, want if you want to keep it safe with yourself then you have to make by your own on computer papers and then you have to share the picture with your fellows and give grades or give numbering to your fellows as well and when you will be back to school inshallah i will check your maps and will give you great stars uh, and numbers over it after making the map you what you have to do you have to staple this map with your lesson unit number one and you have to make fold it like this and when you will close the book it will be like that got it so and when you will open the book instead of reading the whole lesson you will read these important features or details and you will come to know what is about the lesson i hope you all got it okay students now we are done with the map and we are moving towards what exercises on book and in the notebooks now whatever the task you will do on your book that task will be done with pencil and definitely in the notebook you will people will do with your blue ink pen with a blue marker today is june 2020 so we are going to take a start of exercises in our book first and later in our notebook it's unit number one the name of exercise is activities it is on page number five where we will do question exercise a that is question answer you people will do it on book exercise b is about true or false again you people will do on book but with pencil and exercise c is your homework whenever you get the time kindly do it imagine that you are uh, going to antarctica then you have to write about six things you would need to bring with yourself and uh, in the previous lecture i told you that you have to make a and uh, draw a map of world and show antarctica uh, in the last lecture i told you the easiest way of showing uh, of uh, drawing the world map and where is antarctica at the bottom definitely so question number one here i'm going to place a book in front of you uh, you have to write all the answers by your own by your using your own and you have to write there using your own vocabulary for writing the answer question number one is about what is antarctica now from the lesson from the map you people come to know about the location of the map the second is how much of antarctica is covered in ice the third is where is this, the south pole name three animals now this is exercise a and this one is true or false here this one is about imagine and world map so these are the exercises you have to read by your own you have to write the answers by your own uh, from the lesson from the map wherever you find it uh, easily and uh, then inshallah i will ask you in the next lecture that either you people have done or not but uh, i know you people are good students so you people will do by your own the next what you have to do uh, the next uh, you have to write the meanings i will provide through the words for meaning and word for sentences here are words for meaning and for sentences as well now you can take a screenshot of these words for meaning and screenshot for the words for sentences they are native teeming adapted huddle prevent i have taken this word from the lesson i told you the meaning uh, um, when i was teaching the lesson so you have to find out uh, the meaning of these words and you have to make the sentences of travel but please please again i am saying don't use uh, don't write uh, the sentences taken from the net you they are quite easy travel um, i like traveling they are have um, i traveled um, murray or somewhere so you have to make they, when they have given you word in the first form now 
you can make the second form and the present participle form of that word in the sentences they have not mentioned either they are giving it as a noun or a verb so you people are free to make a noun or a verb surrounding bright wildlife and hardal so now you have to make the sentences of these words by your own easy one i'm not asking you to write the dictionary one or the net one um, but by your own so, is it clear words for meaning and words for sentences uh, i'm going to show you the page that how you have to prepare the page this is a page how you have to prepare the page for sentences this i'm doing for the very first and last time later on you have you uh, you should know that how you have to do by your own and page now this is a page for meanings how you have to prepare the page for meaning unit number one antarctica words for meaning and you have to write their synonyms try to write one word synonym from your dictionary so this was all about today's topic uh, in the second lecture i told you I'm here I'm going to quick recap in the second lecture I told you about mapping what is mapping and I hope that you people are quite much clear about mapping why we do maps I told you two examples even I told you example of Antarctica map as well and uh, don't forget to attach that map with your lesson here I have done with you now this is my map I hope that you all people will attach your own map with your book and inshallah uh, then I will check your maps then what about activity question answers you have to re uh, read by your own then true or false then imagination use your imagination then I will tell you in the next lecture uh, what I have imagined those six things which I will keep with myself uh, if I could, would get a chance to go to Antarctica I told you everything uh, then about the meanings I told you about the sentences I told you so what you have to do today mapping by your own the book exercises with pencil by your own and some meanings and sentences you people have to do in that notebook which is provided to you by booksellers in your book set so you have to open the page you have to write your name and you have to take a start written take a start of a written task in that notebook the first task is about meaning and sentences so inshallah we'll meet you in the next lesson uh, it is uh, it will be on inshallah wednesday 24 june 24 20 and 20 till then allah hafiz take care keep me remember um, keep me remember in your prayers stay blessed stay safe stay healthy allah hafiz